like more health and more health again then we'll probably remove one of those and then of course more health we're up to 20 health blessings now which puts our maximum health all the way up to 1500. I've come up with another brilliant idea. Right now, my gold integrity is 90%. Every time I die, I lose 10%. If I spend 50,000 gold on this, my gold integrity jumps all the way up to 95%. I only lose 5% every time I leave a dungeon, if you see what I'm getting at. Like, say I don't happen to like what this guy's offering. I can jump in the dungeon, die, come right back out, see the new stuff. Unfortunately for me, we did have pretty good stuff. And no, I can't just alt F4 and come back in to double up on stuff. I've tried, it doesn't work for me. But look at that, lose less gold on death. Our gold integrity is 100%, so I'm free to leave this run if I don't like what I see. Why is he blue? Is that Christmas? Why are you blue? Normally, this would be a devastating start. And it still is. But I still need to defeat the second boss and able to reset everything, so I'm gonna do that. I've had a bit of a fun thought as to how to beat this boss. With bombs, he holds still a lot of the time, so I wanna see if bombs will actually work half bad. And so far, they're not really doing anything. But if I get some close enough, and I've got the Bambushka, so they can probably do a lot of damage to a lot of things. He doesn't move very far before he holds still again. But bombs might also hurt me in a bad way. Yeah, okay, confirmed. Bombs just hurt me more than anything, so that was a mistake. Good idea, though. Not sure what's beyond this door, but I'm interested now. There's a lot of spikes between me and all of this. Whoops. Well, now that he's out of the way, I'm gonna continue on and just collect gold, because it's fun to do. What happens if you double your bombs and you have 85 to start with? 99. Kind of an interesting thing to happen on a gold run. So what happens if we turn all those bombs into keys and we have a keyblade? We now do 272 damage and I'm not even trying to make damage happen. And this is a good example of why I say it's hard to predict anything in Undermine because I was just trying to make a gold run out of this and I'm pretty much doing more damage than ever before. Currently my base damage is over 300. It's bouncing around a bit but that means I'm doing some pretty big crits. So after my gold run that leaves us with a very modest 120,000 gold. And with all this gold that means I'm free to keep restarting my runs until I find the perfect relic on the first floor because all I'm gonna do is lose 5% of my gold I've got plenty to burn and the first relic I want to find I think are gonna be the transmute bombs but we'll see what we get and still not the one I want I'm down to almost 50,000 so I've spent 70,000 gold already trying to do this and just like that we're all the way down to 30,000 gold I've spent a ton of money trying to do this because did you know there's over 100 relics to choose from so I'm gonna try it with the duplicator that just means I can pick relics moving forward I get a choice of two that should hopefully help me find the ones I need anyways and right away will take more health. The floor 2 shop has some really good relics. I was hoping for the transmute bombs, but I did get prey twice at altars, which is huge for me, and overstocking the shop, which is also huge for me, and when healed, heal again. This one isn't really particularly useful to me, but I'll take it anyway because it's all I've got. Then the relic I'm gonna take, do more swing damage at high health. That already adds 15 damage, and I can get a lot more health than that. And how's this for a lucky room? The floor 3 shop finally got 3 relics, none of which are ones that I want, so I'm gonna transmute a few times to hopefully get a good one. And I really, really hope I I can. So far, not seeing much, and I'm gonna sacrifice a lot of health. The crown I probably will take, but I do want to see what these all transmute into, just in case I get something better. And nothing really. This time there are only two relics, but another one that I really need. Lost curses become blessings. This is pretty much everything I need to make a crazy run. Even regardless of my plan, this just makes a big difference. Plus, a full heal. I am still gonna try once or twice to change that into something better. A keyblade is pretty good. I'm gonna blow it up just one more time in hopes of something better. Like throw damage. I don't know if that's better than a keyblade, but it's what I got to work with. My choice of relics on this floor increase health and damage. Enemies drop gold when killed. Gold is tempting. I do like that, but I need health and damage more. And since I get to use this altar twice, let's increase the experience for my familiar and see what we can do. Let's go increase chance of critical strike because we don't have it yet, and then we'll just remove it. But my thing gets lots of experience for doing this. Goldmine 4 finally got three relics at the shop. None of those I want, so let's see what else we can do. Again, nothing really good there, so let's take a little bit of health and do it all again. I will take an iron branch just for the health swing damage and attack speed, because that's always fun. The other two I'm going to transmute maybe one more time. Maybe two, who knows. Treasure map's handy. All the secret rooms, extra altars, extra blessings. That's an easy choice. Going to take the keys, and we're going to blow up one more time to see if we can get something better than boots. Just the ages, increased defense at critical health. Why not? That's the potion for an extra chest, which just gave me some extra gold. And the relic for the floor, deal more throw damage at high health. You know what? Instead of that, let's return projection projectiles with an attack. That's really just gonna help me stay alive. Speaking of which, it's time for my favorite boss fight ever. This is probably the hardest one for me every single time because I've never had my power-ups in time for this. But we'll see what we can do. As long as I keep it right up here, it has a pretty predictable pattern and I can do quite a bit of damage to it. As long as I can keep up with it. So far, so good. I do have a full heal potion if I have to use it. And I'm... what? I didn't know it could come through the middle. Okay, I'm gonna use this now. I really didn't want to have to do that, but I'm going to just to stay alive. I really don't want to lose my relics. 
I've never seen it move like that before. That's a new one, so that's fun. And got it defeated. Only lost like a bar and a half of health, so that's not bad. At least the shop on this floor is nice and close. One million tries later, and I've accepted the fact I'm only getting two relics on this floor for whatever reason. But let's figure out exactly what they're gonna be. I actually really like both of these. Deal even more damage when you critical strike. That's probably gonna be the single biggest boost of damage I could possibly find. And ricochet. Not ricochet, sonic boom. But I'll take that anyway. And we're gonna increase experience for my familiar and do this whole thing again. Let's do receive less damage. And my fairy leveled up and increased throw attack size. I might get to use this one more time. Yeah, one more time. Let's do increased chance of critical strike one more time, because we're going to be doing big critical hits pretty soon. My damage is 92 currently, we'll go up once I get my health back. And we can remove one of those curses right away for an extra blessing. And we're going to blow that up just for fun, to see what this turns into. Transmute a carried relic, not going to do that. And our relic choice for the floor, we're going to go with higher chance to critical strike. Lots and lots of damage. Dungeon 2, another floor where we're only going to get two relics, but it's not going to be those two. Or those two. Or those two. Nah, eh, those are okay, can we do better? All right, I might have to restart this floor again. 80 hours later, and I've got three relics again, so that's good for me. We'll see what we can turn these ones into. Starting to sense something of a pattern with these. Well, I'll take deal more throw damage at high health, and increase move attack and throw speed at the beginning of battle. Then we'll just take whatever those boots turn into, because I don't like boot upgrades. Increase swing damage, that's a good one. Our relics for the floor, not a lot of good ones. We'll take the float boots, because I do fall in holes a lot. And time for some more curses. We'll take more health, because that adds damage as well. And more health. And then we'll maybe just get rid of one of those. While I'm at it, I'm gonna use a bomb doubling potion for 24 bombs, because I'm going through them pretty quick, and I'm not even using transmute bombs. And unfortunately, this shop is on the other side of the dungeon, so I'm just gonna take what I can get. I've got two relics, I'm gonna take two relics. Neither of which are useful, but I want them to stop spawning anyway. Heal in each new room for each new curse is kind of a good one for me anyways. It definitely keeps offering me the lucky charm. I don't want that. Leech your life of your enemies, at least I'll get some healing back. It's hard to keep my health up, especially when I'm removing so many curses. Speaking of which, increased chance to critical strike, faster swing speed, and healing is more effective. Then I can remove one of those randomly for an extra blessing. And look at that, the secret room had an extra extra shine for me. Let's go for increased chance to critical strike. More health of course. And more health. I start three blessings of lose more gold on death which I really don't care about especially because it doesn't matter. The other curses aren't even that bad so I'm not in any rush to get rid of those ones. All right well since this floor is difficult to work with there's no transmute I'll take the one relic because I'm gonna need gold anyway that one's gonna be important and then I can have two free curse removals right here. And with all this health I currently have my damage is up to 130 already. And our natural relics on the floor are these two. I'm gonna pick up this one because it keeps trying to give me this and a chance at avoiding death I won't say no to because it's pretty hard dungeon these days. And a curse thing. Ooh, for two blessings. That's a pretty good one. Lose less gold on death. Never mind. I was hoping, whoops, for something better. That was a waste of a bomb. And the shrine rune. First of all, we're going to take more health. Then I think I'm going to try and get rid of two of these curses right away. As tempting as it is to take some of those, I need less curses right now. And my fairy leveled up, so that means we get double blessings moving forward, which is going to make a huge difference over the next two dungeons. We're not even halfway done. And it's time for the boss fight. Luckily for me, I'm doing pretty big critical hits, so this shouldn't be too hard. Ow, those do a lot of damage though. Between my attack speed and how much critical damage I'm doing, this shouldn't actually be very hard. In fact, it's definitely not going to be, because I can break those balls pretty fast. And it's dead. That was not so bad. That was harder than it has been simply because the difficulty's getting so high, but really wasn't too bad overall. I've only got 18,000 gold. I finally found it. My transmute bomb. That's the only relic I have, but I'm taking it because I've been looking for this forever. Plus, I have 22 bombs to work with, so things are looking up. Double blessings all around. Someone had pointed out that you can use transmute bombs to turn bombs into bomb bags if you're lucky, so let's see if that can actually work. Mm, not so far, and I'm using up a lot of bombs to do it. I think it probably could work, but you're gonna have to get lucky to do it. Potions, on the other hand, let's see if we can make something better out of those. I'll take that one for healing. Alright, let's make our attack size bigger, give ourselves more health, and remove a curse for 75 healing. Actually, let's make our swing attack bigger. So now it looks like that. Pretty big, pretty quick, plenty of damage. So now when I walk into a floor, I can mostly just do this. My critical hits are so big and so frequent that they're basically always triggering. Well, I think at least in this secret room I can earn a few bombs. There we go, and I'm out of here. Two relics so far in the next floor, and I'm gonna take both of these. Sometimes get a bomb when using a bomb. I use a lot, so that just makes sense to me. Actually, I don't really need more secret rooms, do I? I need more useful things. Definitely not those, though, so whoops. Okay, I guess we're taking those now. 
Then we'll remove a curse, buy a bomb, get some healing. And definitely take the bomb doubling potion. We're gonna use that, not yet, but as soon as we have to use another bomb, we certainly will. And this seems like a perfect room to let go of one of these guys. With my super attack speed, it should die pretty quick for extra blessings. Is it still there? I can't see it. Yeah, it died. Okay, now we get bigger bombs. Okay, this is the kind of room where I'm gonna start to use some bombs, so let's double those before we have to do that. This I might take. Curse stash, I don't want at this point. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough curses by the end of this. Don't want that. This I will take, just so I can cook food and heal along the way. And here's one of the ones I absolutely wanted. Holy guacamole. Find more altar rooms. Now I get six curses per floor instead of three. And sometimes drop a new key when using an old one. I'll actually take that right now because I want both keys and bombs. Lots of them. Then we'll take another one of these because these are just great healing potions. So we'll use this to take care of that one curse I have. Then we'll take increased chance to critical strike. And healing is more effective. Our relics for the floor are both of these, neither of which I want, so we're going to turn this into something much better. And I guess we'll just taking this one, leftovers. Our critical hits are already pretty big. I saw a few in the 300s because my damage is 167. I'm going to try and get as much health and keys as I can at this point to push that damage as high as possible. And I found another shrine. How lucky is this? Let's just take care of the annoying spiders and then we'll do this. Let's go with receive less damage. Then we're going to remove a few of these curses. Or maybe I'll take some health on this one. And then heal myself with the bomb because that works out to 250 healing anyways. Two relics on this floor will turn them into something a little bit better than that. Like this one I sure like, increase attack speed, which was already ridiculously fast. Then we'll get rid of both of our curses using these things, which of course give us random blessings. And then enemies drop gold when killed. I'll take that because we're running low anyways. So now my attack speed and size, that big. And we get another curse, plus hopefully a whole bunch of keys. No, I'll take that though. The natural relics on this floor, I don't want. Both of those are no good to me. Uh, we'll maybe take that to reduce elemental damage. Yeah, we'll take that. Now for this boss fight, we're going in with 187 base damage, going that fast. So this shouldn't take too long at all, despite the fact that it is stronger than ever. I'll be done before you know it. He's going to start putting out the torches. Nope, no he's not. I'm going to start putting them back as soon as he does. The critical hits rarely add up. I'm doing 350 on average for critical hits, and he just kind of stands there and takes it. So the torches are all back. I get to sit here and do this again while he's playing laser ball. I think this is going to be about the end. That was easy. I lost that much health. Found an impish key bomb, so that's going to help me add a little bit of extra damage down the road. There's only one relic here, and I'm actually okay with that. Because the shrines at this point are going to do more for me than the relics can. We can still find some really good relics, but I've got the ones I need at the core. So we're going to transmute all these. Did not mean to transmute those, but I did. Okay, moving on. Here's one that's pretty helpful. Ricochet. And we're going to transmute one more time, because I can use my potion to transmute all that health back. So we'll take the key without taking the bomb and hopefully everything transmutes into something better. There's a curse removal, so I'll take that. That was worth it. Now we've got six curses to go. I'm going to try and do health whenever I can, but if not, we're going to do something different, like attack speed. And removing curses, of course, because I don't want those hanging out, especially not this one. And we have a cursed chest, so we're definitely going to open that. Six keys. I wish I had an item doubling potion right now, but I don't. Now, the gold hitting the floor one, I do kind of like. I don't need resurrection. I want something good. All right, we're going to try both of these then. Increase health. We're going to go for 860 up to 1008 1008 health i don't know if i've ever had over a thousand that puts my swing damage up to 241 and it's only going to get better and in the secret room down below i found another shrine so we're going to remove a curse for big damage give ourselves even more health and just remove another one of those curses for 150 health normally that would be a big deal but when you've got a thousand health it's not too bad so my damage and everything looks like this now 483 crit 487 459, pretty consistent. One relic at the shop, cooks all your food, that's extra healing. I'm burning a lot of health removing curses, so I'll take it. Then I'm gonna see if I can transmute bombs into keys right now, or key rings. There's a curse removal, I'll actually take that. And we have seven healing is more effective, so what does a cooked steak heal me for? 50. We'll take two random chests because those can potentially drop me keys or give me curses or all sorts of fun things. There's a cursed chest and a blue chest. The cursed chest is going to give me a key ring. That's perfect. That's the blessing to lose less gold. I might have destroyed it. No, it's up there. I just can't get to it. I didn't know I could transmute the blessings. That didn't work before. Increase throw range. What can we turn that into? We can. Interesting. Do more throw damage. Nope. Give me health. Or swing damage. And then this potion. Oh, that was the secret shop. I should have taken that one. Oh, okay. It's still the same thing, apparently. So, cool. Which, of course, has for me three relics. So, I'm actually going to transmute all of these. Because they're all pretty good, but not good enough. Oh, I'm going to take the keys first. So, better relics? Not really. This one's kind of interesting. It can boost my damage, but nope. Sometimes drop meat from your enemies. 
Now we drop golden meat from our enemies. Our damage, by the way, is already up to 275, and we're going to keep going with this. Uh, I don't really want either of those. One more try. Old bombs, definitely don't want. What is this one? Increase damage when killing enemies. Yeah, we'll take that. And then transmute this one into something better, like chance on hit to chain lightning. Sure. And another curse chest, hopefully lots of keys. Well, there's two keys. Plus, I can transmute that into something better. Like more swing damage. This room would normally be a bit of a nightmare with how small it is, but you know, when I attack this big and that powerful, it's kind of easy. And if I want the pilfers to not touch all my gold, all I have to do is swing my pickaxe, and they can't really get away from it, because it's too big. Just saw a critical hit for over 600 damage. That's not bad at all. A key ring you shouldn't have. That's extra damage. 628 critical hit, we're now up to 305 base damage. Plus another key, so we're up to 307. Plus some interesting relics, we could do more throw damage with that one. Definitely don't need current stash. We'll see what we're gonna find. Nope. Uh, do more throw damage at high health. We do have a lot of health. Let's see how much that boosts our throw damage. Only 21. I thought it would be way higher than that because it's 96 compared to our 305 swing damage. The next floor has the six shrines for me right away, so we're gonna get all the damage we can out of those, like more health. And more health again. Then we'll probably remove one of those. Mm, we'll take a removal, and I guess just another removal, because none of those are exciting. And then, of course, more health. We're up to 20 health blessings now which puts our maximum health all the way up to 1,500. I'm not sure what's happening, but something is trying to cook continuously. And getting all that health back isn't really that hard unless you're knocking it into holes, but all the enemies drop golden food that duplicates itself pretty frequently. Two relics at the shop right away. We're not gonna take either one of those. We're gonna transmute them into something better. I will take the key. And the secret shop, of course, is pretty important to me. There is a potion for five curse removal, but we're not gonna get five curses between here and the end of the run. Pretty confident in that. Return damage, but amplified, sure. Sustain yourself on gold, well that's just going to be extra healing for me. Not that I really need it, but I do want it. That should mean that anytime something drops food, it's going to multiply a lot. One key to get three. Four. Okay, great deal. Our relics for the room are this, and I don't like either of these. We can do better. Uh, discover more treasure rooms. A little bit late for that. Give me something for damage, please. Ooh, that one's tempting, but nope. Alright, we'll start on this side then. I only got one more transmute left, so hopefully we get something good out of this. Exploding floor gold it is, for the hopes of finding me more keys and therefore more damage, because as it is, we're only doing 333 base damage. Which looks something like this. It still took two hits to kill that, despite the fact we're doing 600 damage per hit. Our relics on this floor, both pretty bad, so let's see if we can do something about that. Don't want either of those, it keeps trying to give me the same ones, and I just don't want them. This one I will take. Two relics for the price of one. And the crown is actually going to be very good for me, increased swing damage. Electrify, nope. What can we do about that one? Nope, that's just another. I'll get an extra bomb if I pick this up though. So I think I'll be on my way. I'm not even going to pick that up. I will transmute it one more time. Probably destroy it. More bombs. 348 swing damage, by the way, after that last relic. And my throne pickaxe is actually getting pretty big. I wasn't even trying to do that. The final shop only has one relic about items sometimes duplicating themselves. I'm going to take that just in an odd chance I can get some extra keys. I also forgot I had a potion for the secret shop. So let's go see what's going on down there. Two more relics at least. Tons of keys. And I'll take all the keys I can get. All food is golden delicious sure why not and let's get a better relic there don't want that one item doubler might be interesting i'm gonna grab that just in case i find what i need and just one more try Ooh, here we go increase swing size swing speed and they're gonna combine for extra extra damage that was pretty much a perfect relic to find at that point because now it's 359 damage and i'm not even at full health yet 365 damage that big that fast plus tons of criticals and a few gold potions so we're gonna take this we're gonna use this we're also gonna let the gold pilfer go and then we're gonna use the doubling potion and we're gonna do it in this room so we'll let the gold go first wait did i not pick up the pilfer potion i screwed this up already that's all right oh i found a secret down there too by accident managed to find a cursed potion cursed chest in here you bomb bags uh what do we do about those whoops ow here's what we do we double them then we get six and i can hopefully transmute those into key rings is that gonna work it transmuted into a key so that's still a little more damage that's worth it at this point point. and i think this room is fine to use the gold doubling potion on it's as good as it's gonna get this late in the run there's gonna be lots of gold the food doubles itself so many times now so much healing and so much gold is it worth using three keys to go all the way there nope we can use bombs i don't really need the bombs anymore anyways the keys are what gives me damage and my reward for getting all the way in here is extra bomb bomb bags that might have been a key ring i didn't really see it look at the bomb bags double though if it wasn't key rings doing that that would have been way better well this is it with 373 base damage, we're going to fight the boss. I've never had my damage this high. Plus, my health is also 1500, and the boss probably can't do very much damage to me right now, so I'm pretty much going to tank through it in a big hurry. Also, it drops enemies, and enemies give me more damage too as I kill them, I believe. So, 366 damage. 
and it dropping very, very quickly. This one should be hard to defeat, but it's really not going to be. Plus, I can walk on uh, air, so. By the way, it's the one with the crystal at the bottom. Someone pointed that out in comments. That's the real one. You can die. So it's going to be this one up here. I'm going to walk right out behind it because it can't hurt me. And then we're just going to go like this and wait. Oh yeah, I forgot I move when I get hit. That's alright. It's more annoying than anything. Oh, they're finally starting to actually do some damage to me. Alright, well, we'll go finish this. Here we go. 714. Hey, stop teleporting me. That's annoying. It's pretty much the worst curse I could have had here. I'd say that was difficult, but I was really screwing around and I only did 500 damage. Which is a lot, but not enough to kill me. Not even close. And that's that.